Hello, I'm Nicole and we are here with Let's Make Art. And this is part three of the beginner series. And for this one, it is called Thin on the Up, Thick on the Down. I know, kind of sounds weird, but I promise it will, come the, it will become the model that, motto that will just replay your head over and over again. So what is that? Then on the up, thick on the down. First, I wanna show you, I'm showing this guy again, but we are not gonna be using this. What I wanna show is the reason why you get thin on the up, thick on the down, is that if you see this, when you, when I would, if I were to paint with this, it makes this wider point. Similarly, some of you may be familiar, this is another pen. Actually, when I first started learning calligraphy, this was actually what it was, was it has a flat tip like that. So what we're using in our hand lettering is not either of these, but I just wanna show you this because if I were to draw with this guy, you can see that I get a thin line and a thick line. And I'm not playing with pressure. It is simply because of the shape of this. So what we're using is a brush pen. This one is specifically the Tombow Dual Brush Pen. And when I'm using this is instead of the shape of this, what I'm actually using is pressure and the part of the brush that I'm using. This is a brush pen. Um, so I'm gonna use a couple terms, the tip and then the belly. So you will see that I am lightly pressing using the tip and then I'm pushing really hard to get a thick line. So again, thin on the up, thick on the down. I want to show you an example so you can see this in action. So I'm gonna write thin on the up. So if I'm gonna use the tip, I'm just going thin on the up, thick on the down. Thin on the up, thick on the down. So you can tell I'm applying thicker pressure and then here I'm applying thicker pressure again, thinner pressure. So thin on the up, thick on the down. We go, I'm just gonna write the whole word. So thin on the up, thick on the down, thin on the up, thick on the down. So we have this and then on the flip side, if I were to just write really hard, that's a very big exaggeration, but I just wanted to show you that you can see this is very thick. So the difference is that it completely lost the thin and the thick lines. So remember, thin on the up, thick on the down. So, I actually have an exercise for you that I want you to play with and try out. Can you, we're gonna do a complete full page of this. What I want you to do is lightly graze and do thin lines, and maybe you do them a little bit thicker as you go along. Once you get to the middle of the page, so let me, actually, let me show you. So, those are thin on the up. Those are thin lines, and I'm lightly grazing. Then I want to transition and then the second half of this I'm going to do thick on the down. But I want you to try and do medium pressure and then as you move throughout the page add a lot more pressure. So you can really see how thick I can get. This was all with the same brush. All I was playing with was pressure. So again, thin on the up, lightly graze, thick on the down pushing. I want you to go through the entire page and go through that. So do your thin lines all the way through the middle and then switch and then do your thick lines on the down. And then we will move on to the next lesson and I'll promise it will make sense why we're doing this.